One of the challenges with recognising revenue is when the contracts change or are modified. And this might be just the extension of the contract, it might be changing the goods that are supplied. It, it can be quite, quite an enormous range of variations. What I want to do now is just provide you an example of the sort of approach which is adopted in AASB 15. So let's think about a simple situation. Sydney Toyota agrees to sell 120 white Toyota Corollas to Bayswater Rentals over the next year for $20,000 each. That's 10 cars per month. After six months, the contract is increased by 30 cars to 150. So there's a modification occurring there. The price for the additional cars is $20,750, and this is the standalone and it's not influenced in any way by the price of the previous contract. So in this circumstance, this is determined not to be a contract modification. So the first contract stands, and we now have a new contract for 30 cars, an additional 30 cars, at $20,750. The key point here is that the second contract is not influenced by the first. So in terms of the accounting, what that means is that from the for the first contract for the full 12 month period we recognize in the purchase of 10 cars at $20,000 each per month so every month would have revenue for Toyota, Toyota, Sydney Toyota of $200,000 and cash received which was paid immediately of $200,000 and in the second six months where there was an additional 30 cars purchased five cars per month at $20,750, we'd recognize that as a separate contract over the period. So it's the contract modification is addressed in this circumstance simply by recording a second contract. And you can see how the numbers have been calculated, 10 cars at 20,000, five cars at 20,750. Now let's change the scenario. What if after six months the contract was increased to 30 cars, so 150 in total, but because there were so many cars being purchased already, the price of the additional cars is $17,000 each, which is not the standalone price. In this case, we would treat the first contract as terminated and so we'd recognize revenue for six cars at $20,000 at for the first six months, and we'd have a second contract for 90 cars at an average of $19,000 each over the second six months. Maybe a critical issue to think about here is that termination of the initial contract is probably the only way possible, otherwise you'd go have to go back and revise the purchase price of cars that have already been recognised as purchased. And that's not something that could happen, especially if it was across a year end. So in terms of what the accounting looks like, well, just as before, for the first six months, you'd recognize revenue of $200,000 per month. That's 10 cars at $20,000. And in the second six months, you'd recognize monthly revenue of $285,000. The $200,000 is the 10 cars at $20,000 each, $200,000 per month. The revenue in the second six months periods is 285, which is 15 cars at an average price of $19,000, so that's $285,000. So what really is critical is whether the contract is a standalone contract or whether it's a modification of the existing contract. Thank you.